Is it possible to run WordPress on a server with just 10 gigabytes of storage, a half a gigabyte of memory, and just one CPU core? Well, the first place to check is the official WordPress requirements page, but nowhere is there any mention of server specifications. So in that case, let's test it out ourselves. I'm here in DigitalOcean. I'm gonna spin up a virtual private server running Ubuntu 22.04, and we're gonna come down here all the way to the left, half a gigabyte of memory, one CPU core, and 10 gigabytes of solid state drive storage. The only thing we wanna change in here, I'm gonna call this tiny for the host name, and let's spin that droplet up. Okay, our server is up and running at this IP address. I'm gonna copy that, and we're gonna log into it via SSH. So SSH root at that IP address, and while that's loading, throughout this video, we're gonna keep track of the storage and memory. So as advertised, we're expecting 10 gigabytes of storage and a half a gigabyte of memory, but in reality, that's probably not gonna be the case. So we can do a DF-H for disk free to see how much free storage space we have. And right off the bat, we're down to 7.9 gigabytes of memory. So let's keep track of that here. I'm sorry, 7.9 gigabytes of storage space. To check memory, we can use a free command, F-R-E-E-H, and the H flag here just means human readable. So it's not in bytes, it's in gigabytes or megabytes. And here for memory, we have available 210 megabytes of memory. Now this could fluctuate over time if a process is using memory. So let's get a couple different readings here. Looks more like 296 megabytes of memory. So let's keep track of that over here. Now what's always good practice when you first start up a server is to do a sudo apt update followed by a sudo apt upgrade. And this just gets the latest and greatest packages on our system. As you can see here, this is gonna take up 224 additional megabytes of storage space. That's okay, let's let that do its thing. Okay, now that's done. Let's put this over here and check our free storage space. And now we are down to 7.6 gigabytes. And how about our memory? we are up to 304. So like I said, that could fluctuate. Next thing we wanna do is to install a Linux, Nginx, MySQL, PHP server, which is called a LEMP server, a LEMP stack. Uh, here's some packages that we can install, Nginx, a Maria database server, and PHP, a couple different packages there. So let's do that, and that will take up an additional 195 megabytes of storage space. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we have installed our LEMP server, let's check our storage space. We're down to 7.3 gigabytes in memory, 232 megabytes, which looks pretty consistent. So let's record that over here. All right, next up, let's go into our var www directory and install WordPress. We're gonna pull down the latest tar file, extract it, and then we're gonna get rid of that tar file, change ownership, and then change some permissions. Okay, and now let's check our storage down to 7.2 and our memory looks like we got 229. Okay, next up, let's set up our database and our web server. So let's log into our MySQL command prompt and we're gonna create a database for our WordPress website, create a user for that and give him privileges. Okay, that's it for the database. Let's set up the web server and to do that, we do that inside of the Nginx sites available directory and we're gonna make a configuration file in here. That's gonna look like this. Okay, we'll save that, create a symbolic link from the sites available to the sites enabled directory and restart Nginx to apply those changes. Let's check our disk space, still at 7.2, and our memory, still at 229. All right, at this point, I'm gonna point a domain name to my IP address. I'm gonna open up Google Domains and I'm gonna call it tiny.tonybony, make an A record, and then give it the IP address of our server. Okay, and now if we go to this in a web browser, we can finish setting up WordPress. So let's go ahead and go through this. Let's go. Database name, this is everything that we did previously. So I have that all filled out. I'll click submit. We'll run the installation. And there we go. We have our WordPress website running. Let's see what it looks like, the default installation, and it loads just fine. So let's come back into our terminal window, check our storage. We still have 7.2 gigabytes, so we'll note that. 
And how about our memory? We are down to 184 megabytes. One last thing I wanna check here, if we go back into our WordPress admin dashboard, it's always good practice after a WordPress installation to go into your tools site health section. And you can see that there are one or more recommended modules missing. So in order to install these additional PHP modules, let's go back to our command prompt window and we're gonna install a few more packages apt install curl, php dom, php mb string, image magic, zip, and international. This is 110 additional megabytes of storage space. Hit enter. Okay, that's finished. Let's minimize that. Just make sure we fix the problem. We'll refresh the page and that has gone away. So let's go back in there and check our storage space. We have 7.1 gigabytes. And how about our memory? We're down to 183 megabytes. All right, guys, so as you can see, you can indeed run WordPress on a server with minimal resources. Do I recommend it? Well, it depends. Yes, if you have a non-critical website with low traffic, but as you get more and more people visiting your website, more RAM and CPU will help your website in this case. And if you wanna understand that better, I recommend you check out this video next.